Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And I am skipping like Stradman because I want to be like Stradman with my Lamborghini Murcielago. Good afternoon, guys! Welcome to Life Apollo, some of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here! Folks, the hits just don't stop coming. Over the last 24 hours, so much has happened, it absolutely warranted that we do a full episode on all the crazy events today. Today, we've got a crazy announcement from Stradman on the future of his 458, the brand new Ferrari he just bought. We've got daily driven exotics and just a monster, monster problem with one of their Lambos. And then, uh, last but certainly not least, guys, we're going to be talking about Tanner Fox today and, uh, well, sort of an interesting stunt that he just put up on TikTok concerning Jake Paul, of all people. Get ready, guys. But before we get into our main headline stories, guys, I have something pretty important to talk with all of you about. It actually concerns our sponsor for today's video, the Element Fire Extinguisher. So earlier this year, I recall seeing a story from Adam LZ about how his Mustang GT350 caught on fire. He got most of it on video, too. Crazy stuff, uh, monster damage to the car. But what I remember even almost more so than the fire itself was Adam LZ's plea to his millions of fans to go out and buy a fire extinguisher to have inside of your car to protect your investment as he put it in his own words. And I thought to myself after seeing this post like, gosh, my McLaren shoots four foot flames sometimes. How in the world do I not have a fire extinguisher ready and available in my car? And folks, that's where this little guy right here, the Element Personal Fire Extinguisher comes in. So let's get the easy things out of the way first, guys. Obviously, 80% smaller than a normal fire extinguisher. This thing never expires or needs servicing. So once you get it and you throw it in your car, you never really have to worry about it again. But by far, guys, the number one reason why I have this particular uh, Element Personal Fire Extinguisher in my McLaren at all times is that if I were to use this on a McLaren engine fire for my car, this will not ruin my car. It's 100% safe to use on, on a car fire. And also, guys, super easy to use you literally remove both yellow caps at the ends, you strike it like a road flare, you point it at the fire, and you're done. These guys were featured on Jay Leno's Garage. Jay absolutely loved this product, by the way. So do yourself a favor, guys. Protect your investment. Go over to elementfire.com. Use the code POLOS for 10% off and free shipping on orders over $99. It's one of the best investments you can possibly buy to keep yourself safe from things that could otherwise just ruin your whole year. All right, guys, moving on to our first headline story of the day. And sadly, it's not a very happy one whatsoever. It has to do with Daily Driven Exotics, a sort of fabled Murcielago that's had some very well chronicled problems over the past number of months and just had another monster one yesterday. On Instagram, on the main Daily Driven Exotics account, about 45 minutes after yesterday's episode with Live For Us, we get this message and picture from Damon, uh, showing the newly wrapped Mercy, a uh, brand new back on the channel, uh, with a caption below saying, I'm convinced this car hates me. Second time, I've driven it 50 15 minutes after getting it back and it starts smoking while I'm driving. I pulled over and blew a dot dot dot. Stay tuned for the vlog. Bunches of sad comments underneath there. Just about everybody weighing in on whether or not he should keep that mercy or not. And honestly, if something is smoking, maybe a good reason to have an element personal fire extinguisher in the car with you at all times. Considering how sort of uh, crazy Lambo fires of yesteryear Lambos can be sometimes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like every light on the dash, like turned on. Do you smell it? I smell something. Yeah, something ain't right. And we also got this very sort of uh, cryptic Instagram story saying, I don't think the belt is supposed to look like that, showing some carnage. We would assume this is within the Mercy as well. But gosh, guys, it seems like they, they just can't seem to catch a break with that Mercy. I feel like it's been broken more times than I can even remember it sort of being on the road. And at this point, you know, I'm sure Damon doesn't want to get rid of it, but maybe the money invested into that car would be better spent elsewhere. Just one person's opinion, and, and I 
love the Mercy 2, one of my absolute dream cars. But I don't know, guys. Put in the comments below, uh, what do you think about it? Uh, Mercy seems to be sort of wrecked up again. Uh, let me know what you think about him either keeping the Mercy or getting rid of it to sort of make room for something else. Obviously, they have a lot of other really crazy cars on the channel right now. The brand new 720, a couple of Huracans, the, the Squadra Corsa, so many cool cars right now. Uh, should they make room for something else by selling the Mercy? I want to know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments below. Next up, guys, before we get to our, our very strange Tanner Fox and Jake Paul story, I want to talk about something that we noticed in Stradman's latest video, which went live just a couple hours earlier today. So, so Stradman revealed just a, a bunch of interesting notes about the, the brand new purchase to his garage, the Ferrari 458 Spider. I wrote most of them down because there's actually a lot to go over. Uh, for starters, uh, you know, later in the video, Stradman talks about wanting to do an entirely custom interior and make this 458 Spider into sort of a big show car, very similar to what the wide body Supra was when he bought it so long ago. Additionally, in sort of the, the cliff notes section for Stradman's channel, in case you can't watch the entire video, absolutely decided, yes, he wants to do the Liberty Walk, definitely cutting into the 458 Spider. Uh, he likes the older kit more than the silhouette version, which is kind of a, a little bit of a surprise to me because on his Instagram page, uh, the poll shows a pretty significant favorite for the silhouette version versus the older model, but he likes the older one more. He's not going to be doing a purple wrap on the car, or at least he says he's 98% sure he's not going to. Uh, we could see sort of a similar super situation where he wraps it a different color, realizes he made a mistake, and then rewraps that car purple. And then maybe the biggest one, guys, is a very, a very quick comment that he made about potentially twin turboing this car on top of all the other custom stuff he's going to do. So obviously, guys, uh, tons of plans already in the works for Stradman's Ferrari 458. Uh, let me know what you guys think of all the proposed sort of build plans that he has on it, and whether or not you guys are still like sort of hyped for the hypercar. We haven't heard much about that over the last two episodes, uh, probably because so many people are excited about the 458 Spider and the cool stuff he's going to do with that there. Obviously, hypercar still coming in the future, we would imagine, but let me know what you guys think of the 458 Spider plans. I want to know what you think. Next up, guys, uh, a very strange story that I'm not sure how we missed. It's just sort of, uh, we, we found it on TikTok a couple days late. It actually features Tanner Fox out at the, the Jake Paul house, and, and the video that we got was uh, a little very strange. Check it out. You Tanner! You Tanner! Oh my god! My chest! Oh my god! Jeez! Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> So obviously guys, uh, messing with cars, breaking cars, not really a new thing for, for very large content creators to do, uh, but on like a deep personal level, it sort of bums me out when I see people intentionally messing up cars for content. Now, obviously they can afford to fix it. You know, there, there's not really an issue there. I don't even know why it bothers me so much. It's just sort of a bummer to see, you know, you know influencers in the car or YouTube world uh, messing with cars in this fashion just to sort of have content. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think of the clip if you think it's just sort of all fun and games or that people should have a little bit more reverence for cars, especially like nicer cars like a brand new Tesla. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of that little stunt. Skimming through the rest of the news, guys, we got Shmi out at the world's most famous racetrack taking his beautiful McLaren Senna for a full send, guys. And we've been sort of covering uh, different automotive creators that just sort of take their cars out and drive them the way they're supposed to be driven. Shmi absolutely doing that. Go check out his latest video. I think you'll just love it. And we don't get videos from him very often, but Jordan Marone just bought a brand new BMW M2, beautiful coloring, and when Jordan does automotive content, it's fantastic. Obviously, he's got the massive YouTube channel, over 10 million subscribers, Captain Sparkles. He's been a fixture of YouTube for many, many years. Uh, has the ability to buy really, really crazy cars. He had a Pista, Ford GT, all sorts of awesome stuff. Make sure to go check out his channel, uh, Jordan Marone, if you want to see sort of his personal car vlog. It's a lot of really fun stuff. Next up, guys, Drag Times uh, with the Tesla Model Y uh, versus the Savage Garage Mercy. A uh, very interesting drag race. I wouldn't be able to tell you that we had sort of a, a fair drag race. You'll have to go watch the video, but very entertaining nevertheless, and sort of some fun personalities on display during that video. And then we have Throttle House uh, reviewing the 2020 uh, Land Rover Defender. Very interesting that they're doing that review uh, right on the heels of the Ford Bronco announcement. And then we also have It's Just the Six Guys, who I forgot to mention uh, that he just bought a Nissan GTR. Very excited to see what they're going to be doing with that. Uh, obviously a car that he's wanted for a long, long time. It's Just the Six has a fantastic channel with awesome cinematography and really just fun 
things going on on a day-to-day -day basis, nearing a million subscribers now. So make sure to go check out those two videos if you're curious at all. And folks, I think that's just about all I've got for you guys today. I do have a little bit of an announcement that we talked about in yesterday's episode. My McLaren 570S is currently sort of uh, in pieces a little bit, not in a bad way, just getting worked on right now. Very excited to show you guys what we have in store for you on that. And I'm very, very pumped to tell you that our Ford Raptor sort of apocalypse or, you know, pre-runner build is going to be driving forward very, very soon. I'm scheduled to pick up both cars hopefully tomorrow afternoon slash evening. We'll see if that's what happens, but you know, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you wanna see sort of the first updates on that. But anyway, have a fantastic day, guys. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not a sub already. Stay safe, sane, and healthy, and uh, that's all I've got for you guys. I'm out of breath. Bye.